What's up guys, it's the Coaster Battleman here bringing you an interesting coaster countdown today with the top 15 Busch Gardens slash SeaWorld roller coasters. These are all the SeaWorld Entertainment Busch Gardens roller coasters that are very good and major coasters. Some of these coasters can be placed higher or lower on my list and maybe I have mentioned some that are fairly good rides but I might not be the biggest fan of them. But let's move on. Here are some nominees from the Bush Gardens Parks. And here are some nominees from the SeaWorld Parks. Now, number 15 is Alpengeist. Some people ca call this one of the worst BNM adverts out there because it's fairly rough, and some people think it's one of the best. Yeah, this coaster might be a bit rougher than some other BNM inverts, but I thought this ride was a good ride. Sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulties. And let's move on to number 14, which is Scorpion, the only Schwarzkopf coaster in this countdown. This is a fun family coaster with one loop, and it's fairly intense because it is a Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopfs are known for being forceful rides, and this coaster has a pretty nice color scheme, and it's overall a good family coaster. Number 13 is another classic looping coaster called the Loch Ness Monster. I consider this a bit better than Scorpion because it has two interlocking vertical loops. It's one of the best aero coasters out there in my opinion. And it's a very fun coaster. And it interacts with the terrain really well and has a good theme. Number 12 is another family coaster, Cobra's Curse at Busch Gardens Tampa. This is a good family coaster. It seems to be the best family coaster in existence, or one of the best, or the best spinning coaster in existence. This coaster has some really good theming, and this coaster seems to be probably one of the best attractions at Busch Gardens Tampa when it opens. Number 11 is Steel Eel. This is one of the three hyper coasters on this list, and this is a Morgan hyper coaster with some fun airtime hills, and it's overall a good ride. Barely making our top 10 is Montu. Montu is an awesome B&M invert. Perhaps the best B&M invert out there. This ride has some good inversions, a good theme. This is a really good coaster. Number 9 is Mako, new, another new coaster for 2016. Mako is a very good B&M hyper. This is the layout. It has some good airtime hills. Some good over some good bank turns. This coaster seems to have a similar layout to Nitro in my opinion. And it's a very fun coaster with airtime. Number eight is Shikra. This is an awesome BM dive coaster. You have that insane drop, the Immelman inversion. And this coaster has a pretty good theme. Number seven is Apollo's Chariot, the second hyper. Oh wait, the final hyper coaster on this list. The other two being Mako and Steel Eel. This coaster has relentless airtime in its out and back layout. It's only 170 feet tall, but its drop is 210 feet, which is why I consider it a hyper coaster. It has a pre-drop and then a regular drop. The airtime is awesome. This ride is smooth and very fun. Number six is Griffin. I consider this coaster a bit better than Sheikah and Apollo's Chariot. I don't know why Apollo's Chariot, but Griffin has that awesome drop, the two Immelman inversions, the water breaks. This is a really good dive coaster, and was the tallest dive coaster in the world, but Valravin will open and become the tallest. Now we're in our top five. Barely making our top five is Kraken. This is an an awesome coaster at SeaWorld Orlando. It has a fun drop, seven insanely good inversions, and this ride is smooth, has an awesome theme. This coaster is very fun and one of the best attractions in the park. Number four is Manta the Launch Coaster. A lot of people consider this a family coaster, and it's, eh, but I consider this coaster one of the best family coasters out there. It has an awesome launch, it has intense elements, and it's themed to a manta ray. Number three is Kumba, which barely made my top three here. Kumba is an awesome B&M sit-down looping coaster. 
It has seven insane inversions. This is one of the oldest B&Ms out there. It's a very smooth, very fun coaster. Number two is Cheetah Hunt. Now, a lot of people could consider Cheetah Hunt not as good as Kumba, but I did not ride Kumba when I was at Busch Gardens Tampa because I was kind of short. I wasn't tall enough to ride it, so I considered Cheetah Hunt a bit better simply because I rode it. But Cheetah Hunt has some good, intense elements. It's an intimate blitz coaster, and that's very fun. And I consider this a more thrilling coaster than Family Coaster. Same thing with Manta. At not the flying coaster, the launch coaster. And number one is Manta the Flying Coaster. Now, this coaster is one of the few B&M flyers in America. The others being Tatsu and Superman, the Superman clones, and there's also the co three Vekoma Flying Dutchmans. Manta has an awesome theme, an awesome drop. The pretzel loop is super good. And this coaster is very fun, intense, it goes, dives past the water, and all around it's a very picturesque ride and it's very fun. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more videos.